就这啪！行行行行，啊！啊I think we nailed, we it. nailed that for sure. <laughs> All the sound and film that's manipulated by a human hand is created by Foley artists. Together with sound design, they play a crucial role in creating a rich auditory landscape. With meticulous attention to detail, these talented artists orchestrate the symphony of sound that transports us into worlds both real and imagined. Today, we step into their shoes, and I see if I have what it takes to be a Foley artist. Hey, I'm Marilee Yorston. I'm a Foley artist and I'm working in Toronto, Canada. I started having an interest in Foley after going to school for audio engineering, which I did in 2001. And one of the jobs that, you know, is really available in Toronto, especially because our film industry is quite thriving here, is in post-production. Once okay. exploring all the options, I found that Foley was kind of the best version for me. I love performing, I'm interested in music, I'm a musician, and it's got a very musical quality to it because you are creating a bit of a, an orchestration of sounds with household items, with environmental items, with props, with your body. You know, it's kind of the music of post-production. So what happens is we get a film or a television show. Our process is that we break it down into sections. First, we do all the footsteps for all the characters, including animals. We look at what they're wearing on their feet, we look at what they're walking on. Every footstep that's ever taken in a television show or a movie gets reperformed in a Foley studio. And we do the footsteps in time and create the sound in the correct environment. And we make it sound as natural as possible. Then we go through and we look at what props the actor is interacting with, what environmental sounds we might like to create. If there's some grass blowing, we might do that. Someone's walking on leaves, we would create the sound of leaves on snow, we would get the crunch. If the actor comes and grabs a glass of water, takes a drink, puts the glass down, we do that. They sit in a chair, typing on a keyboard, all these everyday sounds. This is what we do. You know, it's a highly specialized craft, but I think it's largely a mystery to the rest of the world. <laughs> what we do, which is cool, which is why it's so fascinating. I think it's why people are really interested. Hi, my name is Jane Tattersall, and I'm head of sound at Formosa Group in Toronto. We have full post-production sound. We've got mixing studios, we've got Foley studios, we've got sound editing rooms, we've got ADR rooms. We're just a complete audio post-production facility. We always try to do great work. So even if it's a low budget project, we try to do a really good job. We're all really all about quality. Sound is a really magical thing for a film because it, it affects the viewer, affects your feelings of watching it, but you really don't pay attention to it unless it's very obvious. So sound helps to make the story more real. There are aspects to sound which can make you scared or can make you feel happy or make you feel comfortable. And so it's like this tool which affects your involvement completely. Foley is considered 50% of the sound effects team. There's sound effects editors and there's Foley artists. The Foley artist works with a Foley recordist and they record all the sounds that we create in the studio. 
And a sound effects editor will take sounds from a library and they'll cut them together. They're also responsible for sometimes recording their own sounds and creating sound design. So we bring those two components together and that's the sound effects department. So every sound has an element of being creative because you do have to make choices about how you're going to, with the supplies that you have access to, create that sound. And only you will create that sound that exact way. I did one movie a while ago that involved like a doctor performing a surgery and you have to reach in and they were going in and removing a kidney or something like this. And so, you know, you have your bowl of spaghetti and you can reach in and pull something out and it just gives that sense that you're reaching into someone's torso and, you know, it's amazing how real we can make that sound. Hopefully more generations of people will be able to experience this job as a creative outlet and as an opportunity to work in film. Can I take a look at what we have? So I'll do, I think I'll do front hooves. Do a back one. Great. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be teaching Christina how to start out in Foley, learn all the steps, learn how to layer sounds to create a bigger picture, and how to do it in time with the film. It looks really easy, but it's actually really hard. You know, getting that timing right takes a lot of practice. The advice that I would give to Christina on her first day of being a Foley artist is just to relax and to be creative and to have fun. Marilee, yes. we've got a whole bunch of stuff on this table, different objects we can manipulate. We I do. wanna know how they can be used in each scene and like, yeah, just give me a rundown. Okay, so what might you use like a set of keys like this for? Kind of like an old guard going to unlock like an old school yeah. jail, right? I was also thinking like even Santa. I don't know, that's what I got, Santa and the bells or something. I so don't know. so that's, that's an interesting way to put it because sounds can be more than one thing. They can be more than what they are. That sounds nice. <laughs> so something like the sound of a teapot and pouring the tea and putting it down and picking up the tea and sipping it, like that would all be something that Foley artists would cover. You're trying to make it feel as natural as you can. I guess here you're looking at the object, you're seeing it, but with the picture in front of you, you're kind of doing it without looking at the object sometimes. Yeah. How do you pair the two together? It is tough. It is, that's one of the things that makes Foley an art. So you really have learned to feel the sound and that takes a lot of practice, but it's really learnable. It's like yeah. um, muscle memory in a way. It's very much like yeah. muscle memory, yeah. So we have these little objects here, but you mentioned mm -hmm. footsteps. I want to yeah. kind of get to like the thing that you do the most. Footsteps, different environments, different yeah. things like that. So let's go check that out too. Okay. okay let's do it. So what we have is like a bunch of different types of shoes. So they many. have different surfaces. We have high heels. Um, we have some that have rubber bottoms and so what this does is it gives us a variety of different types of shoes that we might find on an actor in mm -hmm. a show and then we take off our shoes that we wore that day and we put on these and we walk on the surfaces that they are walking on. I have these old faithful shoes here. I've had these since day one in Foley so I've had them for 20 years. Okay so are these your favorite ones to work in? Then? These are my favorite shoes yeah. So if we're walking in you know uh, hay we would be here some gravel here and it sounds you know like so you're different. yeah it sounds like you're walking on a sidewalk another fun one might be like a teacher's walking down a hallway kids are misbehaving you know like some it's a little yeah. eerie it's a little scary you know they are about to get busted so it might start off like really quietly yeah <laughs> and they're coming fast. Yeah, they're coming to bust you. You can really feel it in your face too, even though you're not the one on camera, you can feel it, the emotion. Yeah, like, yeah it's coming. 
I'd love to, you know, just play around with some stuff before we actually get into the picture to sound because yeah. I feel like I want to get a good sense of everything. So cool. play around and have some fun, I guess. Yes. Okay. Okay. How do you avoid getting the sound of like? I hold my breath. You hold your breath. Yeah. So we so hold our breath. Well, that's right. I hold my breath. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Would you put this on to like headbutt something? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Farmer Joe. <laughs> that could also be someone peeing in the bathroom. <sighs> Hello? Angry. Hello. Excited. It's kind of fun. Ow. Ooh. Ugh, oh, that hurts my ears. Oh, there we go. I'm unsheathing my sword. Merrily, we are now ready to learn how to put picture and sound together. So before I was just okay. kind of learning how things sounded, but now I yes. want to know how to like match it up, sync it up. How do I do that? So you're going to look at the screen and then you're going to see what they're doing. You're going to get the props together that you need to emulate all those sounds. And you're just going to do the sounds that they're doing in time with the picture. Okay, we've got a cooking scene. Okay. Making lots of noises here. <laughs> so you're okay. going to take that prop and all you're gonna do is try to get every time he connects the pan. utensil yeah. and the and the pan, that's what you're gonna do. Okay. Maybe you wanna try and do like some of the uh, some food of the noises. Food. Yeah. Okay. Sounds really appetizing, doesn't it? <laughs> and so all these layers put on together will build all the components of the scene. And then the ambience of the actual restaurant will be added in by sound design. That will be sound design. Sound okay, effects. very yep. cool. Foley is a lot more fascinating than I ever imagined. Like right here, Marilee is wetting the ground to sound like wet sand on a beach. Setting up a scene in the environment you're in is crucial to making the most authentic sound to match the picture. I learned a lot about Foley today and that it doesn't just happen in one take. It's important to take your time and watch a scene over and over again if you need to, and use the closest materials you find to replicate what's in the scene. After all, you don't want the sound to pull you out of the story. It's all about enhancing the experience. Okay, that was fun. This is the deal. This is it. what we do all day long. And yeah. tomorrow we're doing a full minute and a half. That's right. Bit of Foley. Yep. Yes. High five. Okay. Thank you. Good job. This was the best. <laughs>
the sound of them going by is always slower than what I was trying to achieve. And then finally one person stops and says like, did you clock me at a whatever speed it was? Of course I didn't. And For the final challenge, Christina is going to be performing fully, real time, to the picture, just as we would in a normal fully session. It takes a lot of practice to perform all the sounds in time with the picture, but she's really gonna get a feel for what it's like to be a Foley artist. Hello, Mary. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, it's day two. Yep. I'm feeling refreshed, I'm feeling good. good. I watched TV last night and yep. I actually was thinking about Foley uh, as I was going, so that yes. was kind of interesting. Yeah, to... it's a whole different way to see TV. So we made a video and we are going to actually Foley our video. And yes. I'm excited about that. So let's okay. watch it through and then maybe we can take some notes about what props we need, kind of gather all the props. Great. And then uh, we'll Foley. Amazing. We'll Foley, okay, Sounds great. cool. Marilee and I took a moment to watch the video and note down the items I would need to replicate the sounds. With my list in hand, I was off to the Foley library to collect everything I needed to prepare me for doing some Foley on my own. All right, guys, this is, this is happening. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Got it, so there's four clicks. Okay. Let me, yeah, let me do it one more time. Actually, that wasn't bad. I am ready for the paper airplane scene. Can I hear that back? Hey, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, that kind of worked really well. <laughs> yes. I'm not trying to toot my own horn. Honk my own horn. Don't know what the expression is, but that was good. We're just gonna go for it. We're gonna keep that one in, and now we'll do the unfolding. Okay. It's like I'm bringing life into this film. Cool. I'll do that one more time though, just to, just to be safe. Okay, it's time for walking down some stairs. I can see why walking is hard now. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> Here we are. Christina has been learning Foley for a little while, a day, and she's doing pretty good. Um, we're halfway through our final challenge. And so some of the things that I think Christina has realized is it's pretty tough to do footsteps. It's hard to focus on, you know, just one sound at a time and keep it separated. Your instinct is to do two sounds at once. But I think she's getting it. I think she's learning pretty quickly, which is great. So I think with a little more practice, give a little more opportunity for her to see the picture before, try it again. I think she's gonna get it. All right, Jonathan, I'm ready. Let's hear that back. Oh, okay, that synced up. That synced up really well. Okay. I'm gonna try to get it a little, cause it's crumpled and it looks a little wet, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, I guess it tosses to my face. Yeah, I'll hit myself in the face with it. That wasn't loud enough. So uh, we'll do box, cupcake, lighter. It's so funny how many little moments there are in this and I don't even realize until you go and do the Foley for it. I like it releasing. I'm gonna do it one more time. <laughs> it. 
All right, and finally the blue. Okay, that was the fastest foley probably anyone's ever done. <laughs> Not well, but. <laughs> so, how do you feel? That was something else. Yeah. When I first started this whole process, I thought like 45 seconds to a minute of a clip would be really fast and we'd do it yeah. really quickly. <laughs> and now looking back, I'm thinking, wow. That... There's a lot that can happen in a minute and a half. You did a really good job of separating the sounds, knowing when to do you know, the most movements and the most clicks and all of that stuff separately, the clap and then the rub. I think you could improve upon relaxing your body. I think you need to, you know, spend some more time practicing the feet, but that's, everybody has to. Yeah. Nobody gets it on day two. <laughs> it's, uh, it's one of the harder aspects. Well, I got to ask the famous question, Marilee. Do I have what it takes to be a Foley artist? Christina, I do think you do have what it takes to be a Foley artist. I think with more practice and a little more instruction, I think you could really start to learn this. Honestly, it's been such an incredible experience working under you and getting training from someone who's been in this industry for 20 years. You're welcome. You know everything. And I'm just thankful to have this space that Formosa offered us so that we could really get into a Foley space and learn what it's yeah. all about to be yeah. in an environment like this. Well, it was my pleasure. Thank you so much for coming. I got to literally walk in the shoes of a Foley artist for a few days and I realized how much of an art form it is. Each object creating a thread of sound to enrich the cinematic experience, creating a world of authenticity so that the viewer can fully immerse themselves into the story. Now, whenever I watch a film, I listen with a newfound appreciation, knowing that behind every step, rustle, or clink lies the artistry of Foley.